Hi everyone. Today I want to introduce a new method to solve、uh, interplay shifts problem. And、uh, this is the outline of this short video. First, I will introduce some basic information about this problem, and then I will show you how to create the geometry of the model, and then perform the homogeneity analysis. And at the last, I will show some results. So. Why interplate interplate shift? So the interplate shift, uh, we know the internal geometry of the young and the layup are crucial for the properties of the textile composites. But during the manufacturing, the relative interplate shift is not controlled, which means the final configuration of the uh woven composites. Are very po are very possible to have this interplay shift problem, and it will affect the final properties of the material. So that's why we, uh, we care about this problem. So what、uh, interplay interplay shift look uh looks like? This is a four typical configuration. Uh, and uh, this picture is coming from the journal published in Composite Science and Technology. And in this video, we will show how to solve this problem. So, how to model it? Here, let me introduce multi-scale modeling based on mechanics of stress genome. First, at the loaded level, we usually have the properties of fibers and matrix. And from fibers and matrix, we can construct a young model to get the young properties. Once we have the young properties, we can go to the next level, which we think the materials is made up by the、uh, young and matrix, and then we get the woven composite properties. And、uh, in in a general sense, this is the constitutive information.、Uh, constitutive information. So. If we are, if we want to mod, uh, model a solid structure, this constitutive information is a six by six stiffness matrix of a material. If we want to model plate or shell, this in constitutive information can be the ABD matrix. And if we want to model beam, this constitutive information can be the beam stiffness matrix. Okay, in this video, we just focus on this this scale, so-called meso scale modeling, and、uh, we will not introduce all these four types. We will just introduce two of them, and、uh, the other two just follow the very similar procedure, and、uh, you can do it、uh, after this video by yourself. So we will do the periodic structure genome and the step structure genome. Okay, let's do it. First, go to the CDM Hub. In the start channel, uh, we have a code suite com which are, uh, coded based on the theory of start channel, and this suite com has been integrated into text chain, which is a textile composites, uh. Geometry modeling software. This new well, new software called Texturing for SC. And launch the tour. And we can make this window bigger. And then we build our model. Remember, the first model is this periodic SG. Okay. And、uh, okay, click woven. This actually is a four by four. We have four layers, so click next. Of course, you can come up with different configurations. It depends on your problem.
Okay, so this is my periodic stocking, uh, microstructure OSG, and uh, based on previous videos, you will know how to modify the material properties and do the homogenization analysis. Here, let's say the model is ready, so I can directly export SwiftCom file and set the uh, Vox count. Here, I just use a very coarse mesh and uh, click finish, give it a name. And once it's done, it will tell you that how much time it took to generate this SwiftCom input file. And then go to the run as C homogenization. Then you have the effective properties of this periodic this periodic SG. Okay, so let's do this step SG and actually this is very simple. Uh sorry. Actually this is the basic SG which don't have the layer shift. You see? that this is like uh, the periodic change and uh, here we want to make it become a step a step sg you can see it's like a step configuration and then all i need to do is go to uh textiles set layer offsets Click this edit offsets, and uh, I want to move the second and the fourth layers, and I know that this each each young of the domain of each young is one units, so I just need to set this as one and this as one, and let's see what the model will looks like. Click OK. You see that this configuration that has become my step. SG and you can change the color by yourself if you want to see it more clearly and the rest procedure are just the uh, uh, rest of procedures are just the same as the uh, previous one go to here uh, generate as the input file give it a name And run as C homogenization. Okay, and let me just show some. This this is the all you need to do is to generate as C input file and run as C homogenization. And this is some results. Uh, we can see that we compared the. MSG with periodic boundary conditions with 3D FEA and this differ one is the difference between the MSG periodic boundary condition and the 3D FEA with periodic boundary condition. We can see that the differ one all, for, for all the engineering constants the differ one is within one percent which means MSG periodic boundary conditions can give as accurate as 3D FEA uh, results. And by comparing the computational time, you see that MSG with periodic boundary condition is much faster than the 3D FEA analysis. And MSG can also do the aperiodic boundary conditions, which has been introduced in the last video, and uh, it is easy to perform. 
and I will not show this in the uh, this function in this video. And uh, and if you perform the MSC aperiodic boundary condition by yourself, you will find some interesting uh, behavior of this layered shift uh, or enterprise shift problems that you can see the implant properties of the four configurations are almost the same but the out of plan out of plan properties and the person's ratio has relative big difference between the 3d array analysis okay so I, to summarize this in this video we show that we can easily uh, analyze the enterprise shift problems by using texturing for SC. So this is pretty much. Uh, I hope you enjoy it.